Hello, my name is Dr. David Flamenco from Helix Dental, located in La Mesa, San Diego, California. I just want to go over a couple things. In this case, I wanted to thank the Medical University of South Carolina for their hard work on the COVID-19 mask project, as well as Dr. Baron Grutter for his hard work and Dr. Wally Rene on their work for working days on end on this mask project as well. So this file was actually meant to be printed on a larger printer platform, or 3D printer platform. The Sprint Ray Pro 95 works perfectly for this to print it in one piece. If you don't have that printer and you have an Extent 5100, as in my case, you would have to split it into two. So I was able to do that here. I have the facial portion, which I tilted in the connecting areas or for the bands. They're tilted inwards. And then there is a portion towards the facial area, towards the Roomba area or the Roomba filter for the i7 and the 700 series with an interconnecting piece that you can see around the rim. So you should be able to glue it or use resin to cure it together. Then there's also this filter that's located here. This is for the HEPA vacuum bag modification. So that way we can actually cut up vacuum bag that has a HEPA filter in it and place it in there so that way during exhaling you can prevent contaminating anyone around you as well. It hasn't been tested so don't go by my word on it but I thought it was better than nothing than wearing a bandana or a scarf or an ill-fitting mask that either way when you're exhaling you're actually just expelling what can be contaminated air to your surroundings. As we have heard so far, the virus does spread more than six feet, but it hasn't really been tested. And in this case, I would just recommend use the HEPA filter if you can. If you're having trouble breathing, then you can take it out and that way you can exhale easier without resistance. So I will try to figure out a way to place my files somewhere where anyone can actually grab them. If you actually need them, you can message me directly and we will also try to put this on our website as soon as possible so that you can try to grab these files if you have a 3d printer and start printing them if you have any questions please call us at helix dental as well we will be donating the first set of masks to grossmont hospital in la mesa california thank you for watching